Hi everyone, I'm Spencer Torres and I'm here to talk to you about the Eight Days of Mayhem, <laughs> which was a meteorological event that took place from May 25th to June 1st in 1917. So what happened? The Eight Days of Mayhem were eight days with 73 different tornadoes across Midwestern and Southeastern United States and there were 383 confirmed deaths with many more expected um, unconfirmed deaths. So all these tornadoes formed due to the um, low pressure system throughout the entire United States due to the El Nino and La Nina cycle at the time, which was not actually known about at the time because our understanding of meteorological events was pretty low in 1917. Also, um, another low pressure system from both the east, south, and um, west of the United States, which caused like in the, cen in the center of the United States just a lot of low pressure systems, which leads to tornado formation. So some fast facts. This was the longest and most intense recorded tornado outbreak in American history. And um, just something that I thought was interesting that it was a book lost at the beginning of the week was found 40 miles away in a prison. Um, <laughs> there were, on the Fujita scale, an F4 is the second um, most intense with an F5 being the most intense. And there were 14 F4 tornadoes and one F5. And there were large brick buildings that were just completely blown away, which is unusual. And there were a lot of F question mark tornadoes because it was <laughs> um, oftentimes measured by the um, damage it creates, but because it was sparsely populated, they couldn't really tell what the damage was, so they were unconfirmed on the Fujita scale. And also led to the discovery of tornado families, which I'm going to talk about. Tornado families are tornadoes formed by the same supercell thunderstorm. And um, this reason this was discovered because there were tornadoes that lasted a really long time, longer than any tornado had. So they discovered that the same storm would make multiple tornadoes. So the most powerful tornado was on May 25th, and it was the only F5. And it was in southeastern Kansas, swept away whole buildings. But there were only 23 deaths because it was not that populated. The most deadly tornado was a day after on May 26th. There were 101 deaths in northeast Missouri into southeast Illinois. And it was seven hours long, most likely a tornado family. Uh, this was the eight days of mayhem. I'm Spencer Torres. Thank you for listening.